Hi guys, welcome to another block spotlight. And today we're going to be looking at yet yeah, another thermal expansion block, and this time it's the sawmill. Uh, if we can have a, a quick look over this interface, as you can see on the left hand side, we have the energy bar, which you're probably familiar with now from the other spotlights from thermal expansions. Uh, vertical bar that just tells you how much uh, energy you have stored up in this machine. Uh, that's your input slot in blue. So anything that you want to be putting through your sawmill goes in there. You have a primary output and a secondary output. And the usual tabs on the right hand side now. Your energy use. This will use up to 5 Minecraft joules a tick. And uh, again I'm assuming it's going to store enough to saw a whole stack. The redstone control tab. As with all the others, you can change exactly what it's going to do when it receives a redstone signal. And the configuration here, you have uh, inputs on the left and the back as default. Secondary output is on top and primary output is on the right hand side. Now I think there's an orange output as well. And the orange output, as we see there, it changed. That's a combined output, so you can have everything going out the one side if you uh, so desire. So that is the configuration, and I didn't mention it for the, the pulverizer, but I'm assuming that is also the case for that one, that the orange is a combined output. Now the recipe for this guy, uh, we have an iron axe on top of the machine chassis, which all of these machines seem to require with a redstone power coil underneath and a plank on either side gives us the sawmill now to see it in action uh, what we have here we have uh, I've been pumping some power into this so that's almost full now so we should be able to just go for it I've got the secondary output going on top and the primary output on the right hand side so we can see exactly what we're getting uh, if you put a wood in to start with now you see we've got six planks and one sawdust. So the sawdust has gone on top as a secondary byproduct, and six wooden planks instead of four. Now I'm not sure what we can use this for. So we can use there you are, we can use sawdust to make a compressed sawdust bar if you like, which we can then cook to get charcoal. That's quite interesting. It's quite handy. So we're almost getting our our buildcraft power back, although I'm sure sawdust isn't from every single uh, time we do it. Although it may be, we'll see. So that that will work quite well. Um, next up, wooden door. Put a wooden door in. You're going to get your six wooden planks back. So basically, looks like you get back exactly what you put in. So we should get five planks out of this and we do and I'm not sure what we're going to get out of this maybe three planks two planks and a sawdust so pretty much anything that's made out of wood you can get um, get your materials back so we'll just go through and show pretty much what that is for each of these items a fence oh, seems you can't get anything out of a fence pressure plate, I thought you could do with a fence uh, obviously not trapdoor maybe it's a fence gate because the fence doesn't actually use any solid planks does it so the box, you get your redstone back I want to try a fence gate in there instead of a fence the jukebox, get your diamond back it's quite handy if you've made one and then realise that you don't need it. And then you get your three wool and your three. Now the other interesting, well let's do the bookcase. The bookshelf, I've got these down here as well. Bookshelf, I think we've got our books back then as well. Wooden hoe, pretty much as expected. The sign, I'm expecting one sawdust and six planks, yep. Uh, let's see if we can find a fence gate because I think 
the fence gate might be what I want to try in here. There we go, the fence gate's working. It was two planks and four dust. So it looks like if you're using a stick in your recipe, then you're going to get sawdust for that stick. And if there's a wooden plank, you'll get the wooden plank back. Now we have got rubber wood. It will sawmill rubber wood and we will get four wooden planks out of a uh, rubber wood. Which is which is good to know because normally out of the red power rubber wood you would only get sticks if you tried to craft it. With this you're actually getting what looks like uh jungle wood, jungle planks out of it. That's what it looks like. It's that kind of I think five three is jungle planks. So there's the sawmill. Uh, very useful, especially to get a little bit more out of your wood if it's in uh, a bit scarce in your world or whatever you happen to be doing. Uh, also good for recycling your wooden products to to get your materials back. If you need the diamond from that jukebox that you made as a, a bit of a laugh, you can uh, use a sawmill to get it back. So there we go, let me know in the comments what I messed up in this episode and let me know which one you'd like to see me tackle next. Uh, please hit me up on uh, the subscribe button above on my Twitch page and my Twitter page. It's always uh, a good way of keeping up with what I'm getting up to. Uh, obviously I stream every evening at 7 so catch me there as well and I will see you next time.